What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and welcome to Paragon Stories. Stories from you about Paragon or its many successors. If you have a story to tell, please fill out the form linked below. First up is Jman63 with a Dong Dodge and Monolith Paragon. Okay, Paragon, after version 36, after Sarath was introduced, Monolith was in full swing, speeding up the meta. I was playing her in jungle and had come up with a build that once level 6, and a pivotal amount of card points, I was able to get a large boost in power, lifesteal, and crit. So naturally, I started eating. During an intense fight in mid against the Kai and an Aurora, a Murdoch Long Dong of the Law was aimed right at me, as I was very low in health. If this was a moment sooner or after, I would have died, but I used Heaven's Fury which made me immune to the Murdoch's ultimate, completely mitigating any damage, and because of the crit and lifesteal I built into, was healed from the enemies and their minions, and it was epic. The outplay capabilities of a good Seraph is always just a joy to behold. Too bad for me, I, I could never have pulled something like this off. Maybe maybe by accident, but that's about it. Jay has footage of this on his channel. If you guys want to check that out, it'll be linked below. Now we have a story from Archangel Zero about having good times in Legacy Paragon. Actually, actually I have a few stories from Archangel, so I just picked this one. My friend and I used to play a match during our lunch break. If you played OG Paragon, you know those matches could last about an hour on average with prime dunking and whatnot. Those matches were our goof around matches, so we did builds that made no sense and would make it difficult to counter build since they weren't associated with any meta. Anyways, we played enough that we had buzzwords for ults and situations we would find ourselves in. When we would pop Muriel's ult or saw someone that needed the ult, we would shout, looks like someone needs some freedom, Kaka! and ult away into our target. Another example of this is when I would play Chimera and would tussle with an enemy Rampage in the jungle. I was always super confident in my matchups against Rampage, so I would always balls through the wall fisticuff any Rampage in the jungle, and because I had the crit lifesteal card that gave you boosted lifesteal under, under a uh, certain percent health, I could outlast them. This typically ended with Rampage ulting and jumping away. It led to the phrase, show me your panic. This meant Rampage ult is down and he's oom. Um. After that, anytime I picked Kai and forced people to ult, it was show me your panic just because I was such a menace with a Kai, often forcing surrenders with 20 plus KDA. I'll tell you what, if you've never witnessed a legacy Rampage vs Kai fight, they were, they were pretty epic. Always remind me of an arm wrestling scene in a movie, like Ramp would get Kai's hand damn near down on the mat and then the health regen would really start kicking in and Kai would take it back over the top. Last story of the day comes from Gargoyle about a card I completely forgot. I was playing Richter as a support. The enemy had claimed Prime and we fought in mid. Only two made it out alive, their Belica and me. I had back to get health and upgrade my cards. She had pushed mid and the inhib was down. It was a huge wave, 20 minions at least. She charges in confidently and then I popped Awaken the Emmerich. Suddenly she's surrounded by enemies, still at half health due to constant pushing not letting Prime regen kick in. I just sat back and watched her own minions destroy her. Bro, I can't believe I forgot all about Awaken the Emmerich, and I really can't believe that Gargoyle rem remembered the name of that thing. I can never remember the names of the cards. But what an awesome card that was. I used to use it on Crunch all the time because it made me feel like I was the king of the minions. That wraps it up for the first episode of Paragon Storytime. If you have a story about old school Paragon or one of the successors that you would like to share, check out the form linked in the description below. You don't have to be a content creator or anything, but if you are and you want to get your name out there a bit, I'll be more than happy to include your channel. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this type of video, but for now, this is the Mangoose signing off. Goodbye, food. Mangoose! Special shout out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter, Jelly Knees Meow, Mix for Men, Stunt, Ferenth, and Raven.